Thank you very much. It's an absolute treat to be here. The Tiny Desk concerts are just as legendary across the Atlantic as they are here, so we can't quite believe we're here. We arrived in um, the States yesterday from Edinburgh into Newark just for a long weekend. Um, this is my brother Stephen Power on guitar and vocal here. <laughs> And the multi-talented, she's been described as the producer for the show, is quite busy. Um, <laughs> this is Inga Thompson. <laughs> so we're here um, for a show at the Carnegie Hall in New York, which is also a complete honour, um, as part of a series called Migrations. And migration, excuse me, migration is the story of your country and it's the story of ours as well. And um, the Carnegie Hall was founded by a Scotsman, Andrew Carnegie. He was born in Fife in Scotland. But not all of the incomers from Scotland have been quite as benevolent as Mr Carnegie. So we have a wee piece about one such man you may recognise. Um, this is called I Burn But I Am Not Consumed. In May 1930, a young woman from Tongue on the island of Lewis called Mary Ann MacLeod boarded a steamer from Glasgow bound for New York City in search of a better life. There, she fell in love with a young man called Frederick, whose family had emigrated to America from Germany two generations before. The couple married and raised five children. Years later, Mary Ann's middle son would return to Scotland, home of his MacLeod ancestors, whose clan motto is, I burn, but I am not consumed. And there, in the name of progress and profit and executive golf, he would pit himself against time and tide. And in his wake, the shifting sand dunes at Balmedy and Aberdeenshire would never be the same. That middle son of Mary Ann MacLeod is powerful, but so too is the north wind. The marbled metamorphic rock of the island of Lewis is called Nice. It's two thirds the age of Earth, amongst the oldest on our planet. It knows about power and it's seen a lot. And so I wondered, what might that rock of Lewis have to say about your own 45th President of the United States of America, Mary Ann MacLeod's middle son, Donald John. And this is what The Rock told me. O oh, son of Lewis, lonely boy, hewn from granite, salt and sky upon a foreign shore, the ocean is a mirror gleam in which you see yourself and nothing more. Three billion years of gravity, of strata forged in fire and earth, the stone crib of your mother's birth, in which your forebears lie. I am alive, I am a tomb. I burn, but I am not consumed. I burn, but I am not consumed. Fish may swim at your command across the Atlantic to the land of dreams and self-belief and boundless chance and exile tale and immigrant dance. You're captain of a frigate now, so set your compass, raise the mast, blow up the sails, erase the past and future if you must. Together we can stand and watch the peatland turn to dust. But this is your apprenticeship. The Gulf Stream doesn't know your name, nor does the splendid blazing sun that alters how the currents run. The north wind never heard you roar. You're fired! You're fired! My back might burn and the fires run wild, but I am not consumed, my child. The minch blows up a spindrift storm. The macker shifts, the macker moans. From Uig Bay to Luskin Tyre, the gale blows fast, the tide flows higher. The shore erodes and disappears, and meantime you are stoking fears and stacking hope into a pyre. You strike a match. Oh, my bairn, more than I've. Oh, my bairn, more than I've. Your 
mother was a wee girl once who played upon my rocky shore and knew you are a broken boy you want more and more and more you build a tower you build a wall you live in fear that they might fall you who see nothing but your own face in the sheen of the Hudson River Oh my baby A balancing is yet to come, although by then you may be gone and leave a desert to your sons and daughters. Still, these waters, they will rise, the North Sea Har will cover your eyes, despite your disregard for truth and your appetite for lies. Three billion years of gravity, of strata forged in fire and earth, the stone crib of your mother's birth, in which your forebears lie. I am alive, I am a tomb. I burn, but I am not consumed. I burn, but I am not consumed. Thank you. So we hope we get away with that one <laughs> in New York. And we'll just give you one more song, and um, it's a song um, in praise of the power of small things. Um, there's an old legend which is common to Scotland and Ireland and the north of Europe and the Middle East and the north of Africa. It's more or less the same story through all those places, and it's the legend of the King of Birds. And uh, in the legend of the King of Birds, um, it's not, alas, I'm afraid, the eagle who becomes the king in Europe. It's the tiniest of birds, um, the, the wren or the gold crest, who piggybacks a lift in the eagle's wing feathers. And just as the eagle is unable to fly any higher in the sky, the tiny bird catches a breath of air and is crowned the king of birds and brings peace to the realm of all the birds. So we have a song in praise of small things and um, they're... they're their guile and their nimbleness. And um, the Wren in the song is a man who was called Christopher Wren. He was the architect of St. Paul's Cathedral in London, um, which is a, a building just as iconic as Capitol Hill is here in, in Washington, DC, and a building with a beautiful history. It was built after the Great Fire of London. It survived the Second World War. And now it's completely surrounded by banking and insurance towers in the city of London, but it's a wee beacon of something else. So um, it's called King of Birds, and uh, we thank you so much for having us here at, at Tiny Desk. It's an absolute privilege. Okay. At Ludgate Hill, on the cracked and blackened cobbles of the town, the ashes fall to rest As the tiny king of birds he flutters down To build a citadel To light glory in the dark And from hell to breathe hope in every heart
At Ludgate Hill Where the towers of small cabin mirrors bruise the sky The pilgrims huddle in As the tiny king of birds begins to cry The people start to sing To light glory in the dark To ring the bell And to breathe hope in every heart 